What is up guys, this is Sido back with another video finally because my broadband was down all these days. So let's begin. Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the same ROM on both of these devices. The Redmi Note 7 Pro and the Redmi K20 Pro is running the latest Evolution X for each of them. Well, those are the same ROMs but do not download the same build for both of them. They are separate like different builds, the official builds for each of the devices. And I'll put the links for both of them in the description box below. And I have been running this ROM for like a week now or more than that. And on both of the devices, it is running flawlessly. Well, let me show you today what are the interesting things in these ROMs. So let's begin. The most requested feature by me at least has been the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner. And let me show you the settings panel over here, the customization sections on the both of these devices. And here you will find the fingerprint unlock on both the devices. So you don't like have to enter your pin after you reboot. So that is a really great thing that you can just tap your fingerprint scanner and it will unlock the device even after reboot. Talking about other things like the stability and stuff, the ROM has been great and there is like a lot of customizations everywhere in this ROM. So I'll just show you everything over here. As you can see, the K20 Pro is running on the 14th December 2019 build, whereas the Redmi Note 7 Pro is running on the 15th December 2019 build. And both are like version 3.5 of Evolution X, both are running on Android 10. And the security patch is latest on both December 5th, 2019. And the stock kernel on the like Redmi Note 7 Pro is Crimson Minimal Kernel. And stock kernel on the Redmi K20 Pro is Immensity Plus Kernel. So that's it, that's all about the about section. Now talking about flashing this ROM, well, both are like pretty similar. You just have to like flash the ROM file and then the fcrypt disabler. You don't need any gapps file for both of these because like gapps is included in the zip file. So now let's talk about what you get stock like by default here. Well, the Redmi K20 Pro comes with old Snapdragon camera, whereas the Redmi Note 7 Pro comes with this Gcam 7. So that's really great. You cannot uninstall this. You can only disable this. Let me show you the settings. So as you can see from here, there is no uninstalling settings. You can only disable this camera. So this Gcam comes by default and you can also install ANX camera too over here. Like on the Redmi Note 7 Pro 2, I have been using the version 158. And here the video mode and stuff is not working. There might be some fix on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. I don't know but this video mode and stuff is not working. Whereas you can install the ANX camera and stuff too on the Redmi K20 Pro. Here the video mode and stuff, even slow motion like 960 FPS slow mo here is working fine. So you don't need to worry. And videos are working fine too with like wide angle camera, then the 2X lens, everything is working. Even the like photo mode is working fine with all three lenses on the rear. And even the 48 megapixel mode will work if you flash the 48 megapixel fix. And you can also install the Google camera too if you want to on the Redmi K20 Pro. It also like has all three camera options as you can see. So no issues whatsoever with this like Google camera here. You can install it separately. So that's it in terms of the cameras. Now let me go into the settings and as you can see I have changed the accent colors over here. You can do it too but like let me show you with the dark theme this red color really pops up and it looks really good as you can see from the screen and in the display settings let me show you if you scroll down you will get the accent color options there are multiple accent colors one plus starbucks green xbox like multiple black even is there next bit mint and paranoid like purple xiaomi etc like all the accent colors you get over here so you don't need to worry at all regarding this let me just disable the dark theme and double tap to wake is working fine here then the like colors and stuff then there is live display you can control the whole rgb of the screen and even hue saturation and intensity of the screen there is night light option and auto brightness option styles and wallpapers is there so you can customize the whole ui theme so that's great again here is the dark theme option rotation option is there you also have the 180 degree rotation if you want that then there is the like lock screen or like always on display is there and this is how the always on display looks like i think it's like too low and talking about the fingerprint scanner, well, I would say there is one bug still on the Redmi K20 Pro. This bug is, well, if you tap the fingerprint scanner once, as you can see, it did unlock. But if you miss that chance from the always on display, let me show you. If you miss that, the fingerprint scanner like will be kind of disabled. It won't work until and unless you double tap on the screen and try to unlock it again. As you can see, this is the fingerprint scanner speed. Let me show you again. As you can see, it unlocks quite fast. No issues whatsoever that I could find. Yes, it is like, as you can see, it unlocks nine out of 10 times that I can pretty much say. Unlocked again. 
and unlocked again. Now let me unlock it from the always on display. As you can see it takes little bit of more time from like unlocking from the always on display and if you miss that chance yes you have to double tap. Yes it does get kind of annoying at some point but yeah the fingerprint scanner is working fine if you double tap on the screen. Now there is like all the things like headline and body fonts and you can change it to google sense and stuff icon shape option is there lot of things are there and in the battery settings let me show you this is how it looks like we have the battery temperature on the bottom we have the screen on time here and here are some screenshots about the battery life i think the battery life is pretty decent over here not bad at all in the sound settings in the like redmi k20 pro you do get the like me audio dirac where let me show you on the redmi note 7 pro you do not get the me audio dirac so that's one bummer but yeah bluetooth like devices and stuff works great with both the devices but there is no Mi Audio Direct on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, whereas it's present on the Redmi K20 Pro. You also have the Hi-Fi Audio Direct option and there is like all these headphones kind of choosing option. And the audio output via the 3.5mm jack is pretty great. And talking about the IR Blaster present on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, it is working great on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, but there is no IR Blaster on the Redmi K20 Pro. So yeah, that's a bummer pretty much like in my opinion. And here in the like system and gestures you get the like Android 10 gestures on both the devices and in the front camera effects there are these kind of like front camera sound effect. Let me change it to something else and like turn on front camera. As you can see the front camera did work and the blue LED also comes up so that's great as you can see and it also like it's also doing the sound and stuff. So the front camera has no issues whatsoever with this ROM and there is also system updater over here and I am seeing a new update. Is it like today's update? All right, so I didn't check that update yet. So there is also a system update right now available. And I love this kind of like, like system updates, which is quite often happens on the Redmi like K20 Pro for the Evolution X ROM. And I just like love this updates, it keeps coming. So the development of this ROM is really great. And in the Evolution X settings, we have the status bar and like items, we have the vault icon. But for that, you have to enable the mobile data and disable Wi-Fi and press the volume, the vault icon, I mean, like again and again to like enable it. Now you can like again turn on the like Wi-Fi and it will stay. So that's how it is regarding the vault icon present on this ROM. As you can see right now, the vault icon stays. So yeah, it's kind of weird. Status for items, we have the headset, Bluetooth, etc. icons over here. The NFC is like not present. The NFC hardware is not present on the Redmi K20 Pro. So that's how it is. There is the show network activity. Then there is the battery icon style. You can choose it to be filled circle and stuff, but I have been using it with the icon portrait. Then the battery percentage when charging is there. So that's great. And in the notifications, we have the heads up disabling option, then the battery charging light. Edge lighting option is there. Also, it like shows up the red kind of thing on the edges. Whenever you receive a new notification, it works great. You can control the ambient display brightness from here. So that's a really good point. And vibrate on connect call and stuff. So in-call vibrations are there. And quick settings panel is there. As you can see, there are multiple quick setting toggle customization. You can even control the like column and row numbers. Let me go back in the power menu. We have the advanced reboot and stuff. So that's great. I have been using the Orange Fox recovery to flash ROMs, like all these ROMs. So make sure you are using the Orange Fox recovery. In the gestures, we do get the swipe to take screenshot as you can see. So it is working fine. Screen of power button torch is there, but if you want to use this, you have to like disable the always on display. Otherwise this will not work. This will like whenever you tap and hold the power button, it will just wake up the screen. The brightness control is there as you can see. You can just swipe on the status bar to control the brightness. This feature also available on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. So no issues with that and status bar and like the lock screen kind of double tap to sleep is there. You can like double tap anytime. And let me go back in the hardware buttons and here you can invert the layout and stuff if you're using the two or three button navigation. In the animations, we have all the UI animation and there is quick setting toggle styles and like other options over here and in the miscellaneous here you get the usb configuration i have set it to file transfer so this is working great for me then there is the dose settings wake up on charge disabling option is there if you need that now let me go back and show you the stock launchers on both of these devices here let me show you like the settings it is pretty identical and here we get the pixel launcher not much customizations are present here that i can pretty much say but to the left we have the google now cards here and you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the notification panel or the quick settings panel so this is a really cool feature of this launcher the widgets and stuff are working great the like subscriber count widget is still like not working right now i don't know why 
and another good thing over here is that like if you go into styles and wallpapers and here you do get like the live wallpapers by default you can download like any of them and the live wallpapers works really great it looks great on both of the devices but on the redmi note 7 pro it does hit a little bit of the performance if you set a live wallpaper but it does come with the live wallpapers of pixel 4 and they look great and you also have some like clock customizations and stuff the android q kind of clock is there and there is the styles option over here so you have everything almost the only bummer i would say here is that the like there is no call recording option because this is stock like pixel dialer there is no call recording option in the in call ui the default in call ui but for the calls and stuff are working fine over here i have had no issues with that and here are the android scores for both of these devices on the evolution x rom so in terms of graphic settings on the redmi k20 pro you can like play on the highest settings possible which is hdr and extreme which is the maximum and the experience of gaming over here will be pretty great and on the redmi note 7 pro here the graphic settings you will get is like let me show you the smooth and ultra option is there then the, there is the balance and ultra and if you click hd there is only high so you can play on the smooth and ultra settings here so the gaming experience on the Redmi Note 7 Pro I think won't be as good as the Redmi K20 Pro of course but it will be pretty decent to play games on this device. DRM Info has level 1 certificate on both of the devices so that's great that you can like stream Netflix and Amazon Prime videos on both of these devices in 1080p. And Google Pay will be working fine on both the ROMs and both the devices here like right out of the box you don't need to worry about it. Let me know in the comments, do you guys think that this is the best ROM of 2019? I think so. Like this is quite a great ROM in terms of like performance, stability, customizations and it checks almost all the boxes out there. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tiro from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.